this is your March 2019 forecast. If you would like a private reading with me or hypnosis to facilitate permanent change, do use the link below. And don't forget all 12 Aries through to Pisces year forecast, $30. Use my uh, link below. So this month, Aries, there is going to be a change. And mid-month, uh, well, the first week in March, there's an end of a nine-year cycle for you. Uh, and so there is going to be a push and there is going to be change and there is going to be some sudden developments for you. Now, you are going to find that there is time to take action on things that you own, owe, and the debt that you have. This is where you are going to be looking at your financial uh, status, your job, uh, how you pay your debts, how you save your money. And uh, there is going to be have to, have to be a change there. We are uh, maybe you're consolidating all your debts from you know many debtors into one loan. Maybe you've decided, okay, well, I'm going to put this amount of money away each week because there is going to be a change in your finances. It is an end of a cycle and um, you know maybe this is, comes from a fear because there is also the um, the second house of self-esteem and the 12th house of things below the surface where you know perhaps there's been a, uh, a lack of at some stage in your life where you have this um, uh, habit where you have to hold on to everything and you have this um this uh, obsession with making more money, making more money. And then for others, this is, you know, I've always lived in the cycle paycheck to paycheck. And now I really have to make a change there. You're also going to find that in some ways to do with your um, health, that, you know, if there has been difficulties, you know, in the recent past or far past where, you know, that insurance, getting that uh, health issue covered financially, are having difficulties there, you know, either um, finding the results or paying for the uh, test, you know, maybe you're unable able to afford something so you have to wait which is taking the diagnosis longer you are going to find that after the seventh uh, that there is going to be help there that things will be covered and that you'll have a lot more uh, practical tangible help we are uh, ten of wands to do with your uh, finances career and study now this is you holding all that weight on your shoulders now for some of you, this is about, okay, well, there's so much pressure on my shoulders to pay these bills this uh, this month. There, you know, a whole lot of bills came in at once or, you know, I've lost some funding or some, um, you know, um, finances from others. Uh, and I'm really feeling that pinch. I'm really feeling that struggle this month. And this is where, you know, first week in uh, March, where you will be pushed into making this change forever. Now, this is also in terms of your health, you know, that there is stress in your shoulders, there is stress in your back. Maybe it's, uh, you know, my physical issue is, um, is bought on by or it's stopping me from earning more money than I need to. Maybe if you had uh, better health, better mobility, you'd be able to work more hours, something like that. For others, this is returning to work, whether you're ready or not, because you have all this pressure on you. Uh, and lastly, this is about taking that risky business um, and you know going with it. But you feel that stress on your shoulders. You feel that um, that push, that need to be able to make a change. Now, at your home, you do have the Seven of Pentacles. Again, we're looking at our finances. We're looking at where we're putting our money. We're looking at what we earn, what we owe, um, and our potential as well, and what we owe our own. This is where we're looking at those things, and we're saying, okay, well, maybe I have a lump of uh, a lump of money that's come in that's able to help me look towards the future and where I'm going to put that investment. Uh, also, if this is to do with our goals, our ambition, our uh, superiors, any kind of legalities, you know, there's real pressure to get this on. It's on your shoulders. And we are looking at this commitment. This is where we're signing. And this is about the future is there's a divide in the finances to do with the home. If we're looking for a mortgage and, and the pressure, the pressure, the pressure to get this to go through, um, you'll find that you're able to do that because there is money there and you are able to uh, pay off your debt. The other thing is that you will find that, um, you know, around the house that there is a renewal. Maybe it's this financial pressure off you and the family members or just you if you live alone. That gives you a bit more energy in the home. It's almost like a relief you're letting out that breath. In your uh, health, you have got the uh, lover's card. Now, this is about uh, your weight. This is about indulgences. This is about um, self-esteem. So, again, we're going to be looking at... Um, you know, anything to do with the mental, you know, if there has been a flare up, you know, again, this change in the first week in March is going to bring a little bit of difficulties, a little bit of tension, a little bit of crisis there. So, you know, this might be flaring up a mental issue uh, as well as that is our, um, you know, our self-esteem. So is this coming out in psychosomatic uh, symptoms? This also uh, controls your thyroid, your throat, your ears, your lower lip, jaw, base of brain, cerebellum, cervical spine, and neck. So this is about, um, this is a major development here. This is a major change. So like I said, you are healing. 
um, you know, this is the time for that willpower. This is the time for, again, willpower and determination and sacrifice for our finances, including our health as well. We are putting things behind us, and this is the time to lose weight. This is, you know, indulgence. This is our waistline. This is, you know, thyroid, all those things I just said. This is the time for you to put in that energy, and anything you put into this energy during this month will stick. So push it in there now. So this is about the body, uh, and there is an end of a cycle there. The, the sun is shining down on you all month, trying to, and you know, you might find that you've got a stomach upset. You might find that you've got a virus. You might find that whatever this push is behind you to make these changes, it will stick and you will have to take action. This is a major arcana card, so we are making major changes in your health. With your love, you do have the eight of pentacles there. So again, we're, we're looking at our practical, tangible, um, you know, funds for the house. You know, who's there? What are they going to do with the, with the savings? So for uh, some of you, your partner's earning more money which in turn gives you more money, more, um, you know, maybe it's taking the pressure off you uh, because you do have more money there to invest. Uh, you know, maybe this is about um, my partner's gone back to work, so that pressure's off you. In terms of love, though, this is about, okay, um, let's make sure that no one is trying to manipulate. Make, let's make sure that no one's trying to bang, um, you know, force the situation. This month, there is going to be time to take action to do with our collaborating, to do with our self-esteem. End of cycles there, we might put self-sabotage because, you know, that feeling of lack, that feeling of not being good enough, and how that plays into your relationship. So your during Virtue messages from the angels is... Okay, so we've definitely got a yes. So this is about your finances, your study, your career. We definitely have a yes here. Maybe you've had all of this, you know, this could also be essays, tests, uh, you know, promotion, any kind of work on a project, anything that you're putting, uh, you know, your uh, blood, sweat and tears into, you're waiting to see if it pays off and it does. This is a yes. You've got the victory against uh, corporations as well. So again, I'm telling you, you are going to have that corporate um, coverage for your health. There is going to be tax rebate. There is going to be insurance uh, help there. So any any kind of funds towards your health, it is going to be covered. And now we have patients, patients, and saying that this is an end of a cycle. Like I said, the sun is there all month, producing um, the right psychological lift in, in that emotional to come up to the top for us to be able to uh, smooth things over. This is the time for you to study, gather information so that you can put it towards your best advantage. So be kind to you and those you love. And from Jedi side, Jake, may the force be with you.